my name is Cassie Edward, and today I'm going to be telling everyone one of the biggest struggles in my life. I'm sure everyone here at one time in their life has wanted to please someone, whether that be playing a sport because your parents wanted you to, or going to a college because your friend said it was the right choice. Throughout my life, I've spent most of my time doing things others wanted me to do without thinking, is this what's best for me? Whether it was playing softball in high school, going, to the, going into the nursing program at ECU, or trying to get my degree in elementary education, these were all things people wanted for me without considering, is this something I want for myself? Thinking back on all the decisions I've made throughout my life, I've always had someone there telling me what they think is best. From the time I was five and started playing t-ball, or whenever I was 18 on deciding, on deciding what college I should go to, I've always listened to what others told me to do. Today, I will be giving two examples of how pleasing all will please none. The first, will be in, the first example will be an Aesop fable, The Man, the Boy, and the Donkey, and then I will be sharing, every, sharing with everyone a personal story of how I related with this Aesop fable. The Aesop fable, The Man, the Boy, and the Donkey, is a commonly known fable, but for those who don't know, I will, I will, let me explain. The website Aesop Fable, last modified September 23rd, 2020, tells the story of a boy and his father who travel into town when they encounter many townspeople. Each group they encounter has a different opinion on how they should handle their donkey, whether it's the boy riding on the donkey, the man riding on the donkey, or just carrying their supplies back and forth. With each new um, suggestion also comes the comment of the father and the son not doing what they're told. Finally, the father and the boy end up killing their donkey because of the suggestions of the townspeople that they follow. They end up carrying the donkey on their backs instead of carrying, instead of just doing what they wanted to do, and end up slipping and falling off a cliff, losing everything that they had, came to town for, and killing the donkey ultimately. This happened due to the final advice of the townspeople. That was their last suggestion which causes them to lose everything, and the moral of this story is to please all, you will please none. This fable is relatable in my life because I've often listened to what others think without thinking is this what's best for me. From the time I was young, all I ever wanted to do was please the people around me. When I started college at ECU, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. My father suggested nursing, so I did nursing, even though I didn't think that that was what was best for me. After the first semester, I decided that that was not what I wanted to do and started talking to my mom about what she thought I should do. She decided I should, she, she suggested that I should be an elementary ed major. Even though this was not something I wanted for myself, I still went along with it because I wanted to please my parents. Uh, after being at ECU for about two years, I decided pleasing my parents was getting me nowhere and decided for myself that I was going to transfer to Sand Hills and come and pursue a career path I wanted. In conclusion, trying to please everyone in your life will get you nowhere. In the Aesop fable, the man, the boy, and the donkey lost everything. In my life, trying to please my parents, I lost two years where I could have been doing something I actually enjoyed. Ultimately, pleasing all, you will please none.